Muzzy Camp Kitchen with Outdoor Edge 9. Welcome to the Muzzy Camp Kitchen. This week, I have a wonderful wild game fried burrito recipe for you, also known as chimichangas. Let's get started. What we're going to use here is we have some ground elk. Um, of course, you can do this with deer or antelope. Any ground meat will work. And we have about a pound here. So we're going to take that and we're going to turn it into some taco meat. Okay, so now we're going to take our meat and brown it up and season it. Okay, so first we need to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan. Again, this meat has no added fat in it. So olive oil is good for you. I always like to use olive oil when I'm doing this. Okay, we're going to put this on pretty high because it's not going to take very long. All right, and our oil is heating up fast here, so we get our meat in here. Our meat is all nice and brown now, so I'm going to go ahead and add the taco seasoning. And you can just do this according to the directions or if you make this on your own. And you can always adjust the seasoning. And then I'm going to add some water to it so that all those flavors mix in and then let it cook down. Okay, so you can see that there's hardly any water left in there, it's just all the yummy flavors and it all evaporated out. So our meat is just about ready here. And we're going to take this over and start putting our burritos together. Okay, so we have our taco meat ready with our wild game. I've got some grated cheddar cheese here, refried beans, some chopped green chilies, some chopped onion, of course our tortillas, and this is also a great recipe to do if you have leftover potatoes, whether they be boiled or baked, any kind of potatoes left over will work for this. So the first thing I'll need to do is warm up my tortillas so they're nice and pliable in order to make them work. So what I do is I just set them on a plate and I'm going to pop them in the microwave for just about 15 seconds. Okay, so you can see that's a lot more pliable and the first thing I do is I put a little bit of refried beans in the middle, then I put my taco meat, a little bit of potatoes, and green chilies, onions, and cheese. And then just roll that up, fold the sides in, and there you have it. And these are really great because you can make these up ahead of time, wrap them in some plastic wrap, and freeze them. And then when you're ready, you can just take out as many as you need and defrost them and fry them up. So I'm going to make a few more of these and then we'll show you how to fry them up. So we have all of our burritos made up and what I'm going to show you, if you want to make these up ahead of time and then just bring them to camp to fry, it works out really great. I actually can make these, wrap them up in some plastic wrap and then freeze them and then you can just take as many as you want depending on how many people you're serving. So I just take the plastic wrap kind of like you're doing a burrito, and fold them up. Those can go in a plastic bag, go right in your freezer, and you can just take as many as you need. But in the meantime, I'm also going to show you how you fry them up. So let's go over to our hot oil over here. Okay, so our oil is nice and hot. And then you just take the burrito and always put the folded side down because you want to seal that first. You can see how that's going to fry up real nice. And they don't take very long either. You don't want your oil too hot or too cold because you don't want it to absorb too much oil either. You can serve this with some salsa, um, really any way you want. You can even make some, some nice Spanish rice with it, but it is definitely a favorite on Mexican night. And then we'll just flip it, do the other side, and it will be ready. And you see how when you do that side first, it seals it nice. There you have a wonderful wild game fried burrito.